Today we are going to learn about angles in circles and also tangents of circle. Just a very quick revision. This is called an arc of a circle. And this arc in red is called a minor arc. And this one, this arc in purple is called a major arc. And this one is called a chord. When a chord is drawn, we have a minor segment and also a major segment. Okay, we are going to look at angles in circles first. First, we are going to look at the angle at the circumference. Here we have a circle and this is an arc. A and B are two endpoints of this arc. Now if we draw a line from endpoint A up and touch the circumference and then back to endpoint B, we have an angle at the circumference. In maths, this is how we describe this angle. The angle subtended by arc AB at the circumference. Now if we draw a line from endpoint A up and touch the center of the circle and then back to endpoint B, we have an angle at the center. And this is how we name this angle. The angle subtended by arc AB at the center. Now let's look at this angle E at the circumference subtended by arc AB. If we draw a line that starts from A and touches the circumference at F and then back to B, we find the angle at E and the angle at F are the same in size. If we draw another line from A again and touches the circumference at G and then back to B, we will also find the size of the angle at G is the same as the size of angle at E and F. Now you need to be able to see this in all direction. If the arc AB is up here, then this angle E, F and G are also the same in size. So we can conclude that angles at the circumference here E, F, G subtended by the same arc here A, B are equal. Not only that, if we have two different arcs but which are of the same length, the angles at the circumference are also equal in size. So are these two angles. The arcs are next to each other, but if the length of the arcs are the same, then the angle at the circumference are equal. So are these two angles. If the lengths of the arcs are the same, then the angles at the circumference are equal. All these two angles. If the length of the arcs are the same, then the angles at the circumference are equal. So we can conclude that angles at the circumference subtended by the arcs of the same length are equal. Now let's look at this arc again. When the length of this arc increases, the size of the angle at the circumference also increases. When the length of the arc becomes double, the size of the angle at the circumference also gets double. So, the size of the angle at the circumference subtended by an arc is proportional to the length of the arc.
In this diagram, the length of this arc is y. And angle E at the circumference is 25 degrees. If we have another arc that is 1.5 y, 1.5 times longer, then angle F at the circumference is 25 times 1.5, which is 37.5 degrees.